In this problem it says a, b, and c are positive integers such that a to the b power is x and c to the b power is y. Then x, y equals what? All right, well we can take out x and replace it with a to the b power. So instead of x, y, or x times y if you'd prefer, you can take a to the b power times y. Now these two are equal simply because this and this, x and a to the b are equal. Well we can make the same replacement here for y. We can take out y and replace it with c to the b power. So we have a to the b power like that. Now right here we have a to the b times c to the b power. Well none of these match that because we need a to this power and c to this same power. Well, one way we can think about this is, let's put in numbers here. Let's say 3 squared times 5 squared. That's the same as, well, let's calculate that. 3 squared times 5 squared is 225. And that's the same as 15 squared. Don't believe me? Let's see it. 15 squared is 225. So, what happened? Well, we took these two numbers, 3 and 5, and multiplied them together, and they both share the same power of 2. So that means when you multiply, that shares that same number as well, 15 to the 2 power. So over here, this is going to do the same thing. We're going to take a times c, and both of these numbers are going to be to the b power. So that means our answer is h. Now one thing you can do with a problem like this, and I kind of did it a little bit here, is when they give you nothing but letters, what you can do is anywhere you can fill in numbers. And it says a, b, and c are positive integers. Okay. So what you can do is, well, what did I do? I did 3 squared and 5 squared. So that's 3, 2, and 5. And so what I did was I said, all right, a is 3, b is 2, c is 5. So let's fill in numbers here. a to the b power, that's 3 squared, which is x, which is the same thing as 9. Over here, c to the b, that's 5 squared is y, which is the same thing as 25. And x times y, these two numbers, 9 times 25, is 225. <coughs> so, we have 225. Now what you can do is you can just guess and check with these answers by plugging in the numbers that we picked. 3 times 5 squared, is that 225? Well, let's see. 3 times 5 squared? Nope. So we know that that's not the answer. a times c to the 2b, that's 3, that's a, times c, which is 5, raised to the 2b. So that's going to be 5 to the 4th power. Is that 225? No. And if you did it for h, ac, so that's 3 times 5 to the 2nd power, that gives you 225. So if the algebra messes you up, just fill in with different numbers, and then just try and see which answer works when you plug in those numbers.